Hello, and thank you for tuning into this BNB feature clip. We value your time and appreciate you for watching. If you find this useful and you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe and let us know in the comments what else you'd like to see. In this video, we're going to look at how you can run your Tosca test cases directly from QTest without any knowledge of Tosca Commander or how to create automation. Here we have two regression scenarios for our Meteor application's REST API. Here's a look at our user story. Take note of the QTest test execution section. Obviously, this could be defined a lot better, but for the purpose of this, take note of that execution section and the JIRA issue key BWEB27. Now we've navigated back to QTest in our test design tab. We're looking through our test catalog at our Meteor API regression scenarios. We see to get top 1000 heavy meteorites and get meteorite by ID. Now we'll go ahead and link that user story by clicking the add button, switching over to the requirements tab and typing our JIRA story key. Once we've done that, we can click enter and it will find it synchronized as a requirement in QTest. Once complete, we'll hit add and we'll notice that the test case is now no longer approved because requirement linkages are versioned. We just simply need to save, then approve the test case. And now we have a new version of our test case linked to our user story. We'll go ahead and repeat that same process for our Get Meteorite by ID. Again, go to the Requirements tab, click BWEB27, click, oops, I actually needed to search for and click the checkbox on that requirement to add it. If you don't see it linked, just make sure that you actually Hit the enter key and be sure to click the checkbox, then click add. And we'll repeat the same process of saving, then approving our test cases. Once we're done there, we'll go ahead and navigate to test execution. We've already synchronized our test execution list from Tosca Commander into QTest. We'll go ahead and select the root level test cycle object and you'll notice there's a schedule Tosca test event button. Once we click that, it opens up QTest Launch. QTest Launch is an automation orchestration tool built right into QTest. You can run your Tosca test ev events through DEX. You can also run open source testing as well. In this case, we'll give our, ske our schedule a name Meteor Regression Sprint Run. And then we'll go ahead and check the different runs that are in there. We have our Get Top 1000 Heavy Meteorites and Get Meteorite by ID test kits. Now after clicking Next, you can pull up a scheduler. This will allow you to run this on demand or on a schedule. Also gives you the option to repeat however often you want. In our case, we were on to run these tests right now. So we'll click Run Now and then click Yes. Then we're greeted with a test run summary. And once we click done, we'll be navigated to QTest launch. From here, we can find our schedule name in the list. And you'll notice it says it's running immediately. You can see Meteor Regression Sprint 1. And once we click on the hyperlink to that, it will open up and it will display some information. Let's do that now. So in this case, it may take just a little bit of time for launch to send the REST API call to the DEX agent to launch the tests. And after clicking refresh, we can see that DEX has accepted our run. And now it should be running our two regression scenarios. After navigating into Tosca server, we can open up the distributed execution section. And we can view all of our historical runs and the run that just occurred right here at the top with that API. As you'll notice uh, in the DB runs, we do have one test that's automatically failing every time just for reporting and reference when we're conducting demos. When we're done looking at the test events in Tosca Server's DEX event view section, we can then head back to QTest. After doing that, you can refresh and see the test run information here. You can click on each individual test run and review its history but now we'll head back into JIRA and look at our user story. 
take note of that test execution section. After clicking refresh, we can see that there are now two linked runs. And after applying that filter, you will now see that both of our test runs have passed. And you'll also see the release, the test cycle, and if applicable, the test suite that these have been added to. These filters are a great way for you to show real-time live statistics to the developer or product owner verifying this story right in JIRA linked to your automated results from QTest and Tosca. And as you've noticed, we didn't have to open Tosca once and we didn't have to create any automation. We were able to leverage those assets very simply with the out-of-the-box integration. Thank you for watching.